Sometimes you'll have assignments that are individual to you. So this one is individual to me. It has my name on it. That's how I know it's just for me. And sometimes you'll have assignments that are for everyone to edit all together. So that might be a Google slide presentation where everybody gets their own slide or two people get a slide to share. So if I click on this Google slide presentation, I see that there are copies of the same slide for lots and lots of people. And every slide has my name. So I'm gonna pick one of these so that I can change it to my slide. So I have edit access here, so I'm going to type my name in here. And this tells me I can even watch to know what to do. So there might be directions here, or there might be a video here where I'm supposed to do something. This happens to be a bingo card, so it tells me that I can write my name, and then I'm going to use bingo. So I'm not going to make you watch the video. What this video is telling me to do is to draw and mark up my bingo card. So I'm going to mark up what food I like. So it tells me that I can mark up food I like here. I like grapes. I like cherries, I like ice cream, I like almost all of this food. I like shrimp, so I'm just gonna keep marking this. And then if I were playing this with my class, then other slides would be actively being typed on by other people. So it's important that I'm respectful in only typing on my slide and not changing what anyone else has done. So when everyone has edit access, it's important that I'm taking care to only stay on my slide with my name or maybe my student number.